Lifecycle Services, also known as LCS, is a Microsoft Azure-based collaboration portal that provides a unifying collaborative environment together with a set of regularly updated services that help you manage the application lifecycle of your Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Operations implementations. LCS support two types of projects, partner projects and customer projects. On this screen, we are seeing a partner project. Partner projects can be used for partner-led trials and to host Dynamics 365 for Operations environments using partner subscriptions. Methodology can be changed on the partner project by clicking the ellipsis button, the three dots in the methodology area. Customer projects are created as part of Dynamics 365 for Operations license activation. Each Dynamics 365 for Operations customer gets one lifecycle services project. You'll notice that similar components are available on customer projects and on partner projects. However, there are some key differences. Customer projects have a fixed number of Dynamics 365 for Operations environments available in the Environments section. The number and type of environments that are available depend on the customer purchase license. These environments are deployed using a Microsoft Azure subscription. Methodologies in LCS projects provide a tool that you can use to track important phases and tasks in implementation projects. The methodology and customer projects contain phases and tasks that must be completed in every Dynamics 365 for Operations implementation. Additional phases and tasks can be added to it, but default phases and tasks cannot be deleted. The Action Center shows user warnings, if any, and key tasks that must be completed in the selected LCS project. Additional LCS tools and settings can be accessed by clicking the menu bar at the top of the screen. Business Process Modeler lets you create, view, and modify standard process flows inside Dynamics 365 for operations. By using Business Process Modeler, you can achieve the following goals. Standardize business flows, align Dynamics 365 for operations processes with industry standard processes, as described by the American Productivity and Quality Center, also known as APQC. Identify fit and gaps between user requirements and the default functionality that Dynamics 365 for Operations provides. You can either use existing standard business process libraries as a starting point, or you can create a new one. You can use cloud-hosted environments to deploy Dynamics 365 for Operations environments on private Azure subscriptions. When you use the cloud-hosted environments tool, you must select the type of Dynamics 365 for Operations environment that you want to deploy such as a demo or developer test environment. Based on your selection, the Cloud Hosted Environments tool provisions the environment. This environment has Dynamics 365 for Operations components and all their prerequisites already installed. Upgrade Analysis helps you plan your upgrade to the latest version of Dynamics 365 for Operations by analyzing code artifacts from Dynamics AX 2012 or from previous versions of Dynamics 365 for Operations. Configuration and Data Manager lets you copy a configuration from your data packages in your asset library to a Dynamics 365 for Operations instance. You can copy from and to Dynamics 365 for Operations environments that meet the following criteria. They are managed as part of an LCS project. They run the data import slash export framework. Issue Search helps you find existing solutions and workarounds for known issues in Dynamics 365 for Operations. You can see which issues have been fixed, which issues remain open, and which issues have been resolved as won't fix. The Localization and Translation tool contains Dynamics 365 for Operations regulatory alert submissions and the Dynamics 365 for Operations translation service. Subscription Estimator provides an automated estimate of the subscription that is required for your Dynamics 365 for Operations instance in the cloud. Subscription Estimator uses the user license details and transaction count to infer the subscription needs. Although you can have multiple estimates, you must mark one estimate as active. This is key information to determine the right production environment specifications by Microsoft. Support helps you manage support incidents. You can reproduce and document an incident on Visual Studio Team Services and then submit the incident to the Microsoft support team if required. Support follows up by investigating and, if possible, testing a fix, and then sends the fix back to you for verification. 
support tickets can be created directly from Dynamics 365 for Operations, or LCS. If created in Dynamics 365 for Operations, the ticket flows to LCS and then to Visual Studio Team Services. System Diagnostics helps administrators monitor Dynamics 365 for Operations environments. You can also monitor each environment individually by opening Environment Details and opening Environment Monitoring. Environment Monitoring provides important information about user and activity loads. This brings us to the end of this presentation. We hope you found the information useful. Thank you for watching.